Polly Berry Design. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to add the glyphs on Samantha and make all the pretty swirly fonts that you make in that. So I'm going to start with just putting in some text. So if we go here real quick and we type in Samantha. So as you can see from that, we get some, it's pretty, but it doesn't have all the swirlies that everybody's looking for. And there's a real quick way to do that. Now, obviously I'm on a Mac, uh, so this would be um, from Mac, but on your Mac, you click, go up to the top and click on the little magnifying glass and type in font book. And that's going to bring up all, the, all your fonts. And then I'm going to type in Samantha. And now what you can see is I have every single pretty character that Samantha has. All the glyphs that are added on to it. So we're going to start with, we're going to find a fancy H. So let's start with... We'll use this one. And so you're going to take that H and you're going to drag it into the text box. Not in the where your actual font is showing, but into the text box. Okay. And then we're going to grab a couple more. Let's see here. Let's grab a small Y. So let's go down. Whoops. And you've also got all the fancy glyphs there at the end. But we're going to find a Y. Going to find a fancy Y here. That looks like a good one. And again, we're pulling that into the text box, not into what we're seeing on here. So now we can literally just, there's two ways to do this. I could have put it at the beginning. So let's show you what that what happens there. All right. So in this case, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put that Y right next to that berry. And I can literally go in here and just delete out um, the Y that was in there. Now, one of the things that a lot of people forget about is that you can uh, lower your letter space to move your letters in closer together. It's generally not perfect, but it gets you pretty darn close on a lot of things. Uh, the big thing we're going to do here is we're going to ungroup. And now I'm just going to move that Y in. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this H and I'm just going to replace it. And I think we need something else. Let's take a look at adding in some flourishes. Let's add back in a, let's get a D in here. And now you still need to be in a text box, even though it's not a letter. I'm going to go to the very bottom and I'm going to look at all the pretty frilly glyphs, glyphs are, that are at the end. 
So you can see you've got all sorts of fancy things here. So let's choose this one. Again, we drag it over to our text box, drop it in there, and now we've got that. And we can make it as big or small as we want. Add it in. Doesn't really look good with that, but I was just trying to show you that there are more than just letters um, in the Samantha font. So quick, easy. Um, it's a lot simpler than people think it is. It's just a lot of people don't know where to look for those fancy letters or for the extra glyphs that aren't that aren't actually characters that are at the end. Um, but again, you just open up your, you use your magnifying glass at the top, click on that, type in font book, pulls up your font book, type in your font, and then you can scroll through all the different images there. Hope that helps. Have a good day.